1965, just when IBM came out with that 360, more than half the computers in the world were 1401 the market matures, so, and in 1971, the 1401 line is It was intended to be mostly car processing. Later they added tape, but later the they added this. It began to be more and more uh, capable and more and more influential. The 1401 shows up on an auction website. It's been out of use for 30 years. So come back on a Wednesday afternoon, no and on. we'll make it run. What is the 1401? We saw the potential of the creation of the 1960s. The target price was $2,500 a month. The old 1401 is free and shipped to 1401 Shoreline Boulevard. And that's what computer that history is every month. But will the CompuSore run again? Robert Garner volunteers to find out. I have no idea. Uh, so it's sort of like the uh, there's this thing called the IBM Retirement Newsletter. You might put an ad there. Cable. I thought nothing would happen. Okay. Later, so this is what connected this to that. This, this is the CPU. And so on and so forth. This is your UFC cable. Of, uh, and restoration begins. 20,000 hours. 500 work sessions. And, uh, five years of corroded leads. Well, we Baby transistors. Like Hunting down the machine worn out parts. Of IBM cards, about 2,000 cards. By fall 2004, the 1401 runs a simple diagnostic program. 50 or 2008, it's fully operational. In time for a 50th anniversary celebration really attended by members of the original design team. Just data storage. They were also bringing the past to the region. So tapes began to take over. Really feel like As you saw also back in that gallery, disk drives became very, very important. And also they go forward to you. Just as easily. And that's what we try to capture. Let's see. Any questions about 1401? Okay. One quick comment. We'll go out the other way. We put plastic panels on some of these so you can sort of see the innards. This is the power supplies for the 1401. And then when we go out the other way. Look around and see a world changing. Uh, Jim, uh, was this an uh, individual transistors or integrated circuits? Thanks. Integrated circuits or individual transistors? Uh, let's see, kind of a combination. Let me show you. Cards and stacks are used to store and input data. Processes labor intensive. 